my god, he's so cute. <laughs> so it's been like, I want to say less than a week, probably five days since my lip was acting weird. But today it actually looks okay. Throughout the day, I noticed that my lips were peeling a little bit. Um, and the weirdest thing is that it's not painful. But I don't know if you guys can see it really well. But yeah, lately I've noticed I've been in like a funk. I don't know if it has to do with like emotions or anything. Like I noticed that I'm wanting to get back into my groove of things. And um, I think not only, like no one can really help me with this, but myself, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to kind of like cope with how I want to get back to my old habits and feel better about myself. Uh, Cause lately I've noticed that I've been distracted by many things, you know, it could be like uh, talking to multiple people or like, you know, just watching YouTube videos constantly and just kind of taking myself away from doing things that makes me f really happy um, in the long run. So I'm trying to focus myself back on taking care of myself and doing self-care and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I was actually going to show you guys my stuff that I bought from Aritzia. So let me show you. Alright, so basically, I didn't buy too much stuff, but I just thought it'd be a fun little video to show you guys what I got. I'm not going to rip this tissue because... Ain't no point, I can just pick it out like that. So I love their leggings, but I do notice, maybe it's because I have thick thighs, but they rip really easily on me, especially these seams. So I hope that it doesn't do that um, to me this time around, but I usually get the Atmosphere leggings. So you know, you can wear it. So I like the one uh, with the design at the back, so I usually get the one in pink and the one in white can see so I can't wait to wear those I was actually gonna re-sew um, the other two leggings but I noticed because they ripped where my th inner thighs were it's kind of hard to you know keep re-sewing re those if they're just gonna rip even more later on so I just bought two new ones and then I got this jumpsuit because as you know I'm so addicted to jumpsuits so this is the one from Will Fred which is owned by um, Ritzy as well, so it was on sale for $24.99 and let's see what the bef oh, before it was $50. Hell no, I ain't spending that much. And there's no buttons at the bottom, but that's okay. And then I just got this staple ass tank top, which was fairly overpriced, but uh, I mean before, but look, the fabric of it seems so nice and durable. And I do have um, black tank tops, but I find that they rip easily, and I like how these are thin straps. So this one only got it for $10.99 in regular, so it's from the brand Babaton. And before, it was $22, just for a day and whatever. And yes, I got an extra extra small because it looks quite stretchy, so I think it can fit me, as you can see. But yeah, that's all I got. So hopefully tomorrow, because it's like 2 o'clock and I should be sleeping. But um, tomorrow my shift is 10 to 6, which is not bad. And I'm hoping if I'm energetic enough and no plans are coming about, I want to film my Fashion Nova haul. So then I can edit it quick time, get my clothes organized, and yeah. So a little update on my lips. They look kind of red right now because I keep applying like a type of tinted lip gloss and then when I wipe it I guess TMI but the little heat rash is starting to like I guess give out pus ew it sounds gross but yeah I noticed like even while sleeping and stuff I would wake up and then later my lip gloss would be like not there anymore and I guess it's healing itself hopefully it doesn't look as bad but I'm really really conscious to the point where I'm like oh my god it looks horrible, but see, it's still textured a little bit, but I'm trying to take it easy with it. And I do want to add a little bit of color, but also moisturize. So I'm using this uh, Yves Saint Laurent, whatchamacallit, it's like one of those glosses. Oh, tint, tint in oil. And it's so weird because I hate wearing like glossy lips. I usually like wearing like mattified lips, but... I guess this will do, especially if I need um, moisture. 
but today yeah I'm working till uh, 9 to 4 and then depending on the weather I might meet up with Alex afterwards because um, he wants me to meet up with him to go to the gym but if it rains and all that stuff then I don't know if I'm gonna go but we shall see we shall see I'm just so I just want this to be fixed I want this to be done and over with um it doesn't hurt or anything it's more so like like nowadays it just feels like it's over dried or it's like stingy sometimes not like stingy to the point where it feels like acid is on it or anything it's just stingy because you know new skin is like the old skin is flaking off and new skin is exposed but <sighs> i'll keep you guys updated mm. oh, so excuse my look Today I'm just doing my regular hair mask routine, which is the Roots and the Swan Wen Hua from Lush. Feels great, but I think what I added differently was the um, Enrage. If you guys have been following my beauty uh, segments, I'm using this gray colored depositing shampoo sort of thing slash conditioner. So I mix that into my mask, so hopefully it'll bring out the vibrancy of the gray silver hair. Because, yeah. Hopefully it's okay for me to leave it overnight. So under here I have my uh, waterproof one and my paper one. So it looks kind of, you know, a little weird. But an update on my lips. It actually looks so much better today. And I just want to thank, I don't know if she watches my vlog, but I just want to thank Kristen for, um, which is my coworker at Lush. She literally told me to put on this Ultra Balm. Basically, it's like a mixture of like beeswax, jojoba oil, and other stuff. So I just thought that that really helped me a lot. And let me just shine a light on it. And I'll definitely insert some photos of uh, progressively how my lips have been doing. Because this is the first time I've had like some sort of rash on it. Like heat rash. But hopefully, um, like even when I'm closing my lip like this, it feels almost normal. But still super, super dry. So hopefully... This will all flake off, but let me just show you with the light. Okay, so hopefully it'll concentrate on my lips. But see there, like it's super dry. So I'm gonna put on this Ultra Balm and then show you guys how it looks like afterwards. But yeah, I don't. I still to this day don't know what happened with my lips. Um, but hopefully within a week's time it'll feel better. But let's put on that Ultra Balm and I'll tell you. Um, oh, not tell. I'll show you how. It looks afterwards so this is with the ultra balm on it and as opposed to other lip balms like I noticed that with this one even though the oil gets enriched and it doesn't feel as um like it doesn't feel as drying and it doesn't make me feel like oh my god I need more you know what I mean so I only reapply it today I reapplied it maybe over four times which sounds excessive but usually with a lip balm I always have to put it on so I'm reading the ingredients on this one it's basically jojoba oil can candelilla wax and rose wax just those three very simple and you can use it for all over um balm and I only got a sample of it which looks like this I know it looks kind of sketchy but so far so good like it doesn't feel as drying and as you can see like it's calming down the redness too which is crazy so I'll come back to you guys tomorrow on how it feels um today's the first day using it so it's kind of like a in vlog fresh impression if you may but I'm probably gonna clean my room and hit the sack so good night guys okay so my computer started doing this noise out of nowhere what the fuck? Weird. I'm gonna need to show tricks this, but I don't know. I was just clicking something and to watch the show and I guess what the fuck. Hey y'all, so my lips are somewhat getting better, but still bumpy as you can see. But it looks a lot better than the last couple days, so I added bite glace which is i think the birthday special perk from last year and i saw my co-worker wear i'm like yo your lips look good so then she's like oh it's this i'm like oh shit i have that too so i think it's hydrating enough and bite i think in terms of like lipstick um ingredients and stuff it shouldn't be that harmful on my lips so yeah hopefully it's okay i just needed some sort of like color hue because I do notice like there's a little bit of like there's a new bump here and stuff 
but my lips are starting to feel normal again like when I pucker like that but I have noticed that like overall like overnight it just feels like there's pus slowly coming out which sounds really gross but hopefully it gets healed after the next week or so but I'm vlogging because I'm wearing this top but as you can see nipples are like kind of shrinking out so I'm gonna try these nipple covers because I haven't tried them at all and I got it from Miniso so let me get it out and then I'll get let you guys know if it worked well or not You know the moment when you're trying to find something, you just can't find it? That's me right now. I thought I put it there, but it's not there. Alright, so I finally found them. Uh, so we are going to try this out, and hopefully it works well. I don't know, the instructions don't really say much. It says, please clean your breasts, don't use perfume, talcum powder, or any other skincare products. Uh, turn the cup over slightly, stick it on your breast, and smooth margin with your hand. Then wear other cup in the same way. Two cups should maintain the same height. All right. Um, I wonder if it's a one-time use, so I'll let you guys know, but let's do this. So it comes with two pairs, and I'm going to try it on and then let you guys know what I think and if it looks any different. All right, so it kind of looks like this. Um, those are the sticky adhesive. And then I'm going to stick it on and see how it goes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, it looks kind of funny on. But you know what? We're just going to test it out and see how it goes. Okay, I think it looks a lot more noticeable that I have fucking nipple covers on. Like, what the hell is this? It looks like It looks like two slices of white salami pepperoni on my tits. Like, the fuck? I don't think I'm going to wear this. I don't think I'm going to wear it. I can't. I can't. Like, it looks funny. I don't want to, you know, peel these off. I don't want to waste them. So I'm just going to change my top. Wear something else. The struggles, man. I think it's also the fabric. Like, to be fair, this is a little see-through. So I should have just wore a bandeau with it. But I'm just going to wear, like, my freaking... Uh, whatchamacallit, my bodysuit that's a little bit thinner, so whatever, it, it is what it is. Man, I'm in such a vlogging mood today, which is great, because half of the time I'm not. Oh, shit. Ah, I hate it when saran wrap is, like, stuck in my nail. Okay, so, um, I don't know if Kristen watches my vlog, which is my coworker, but she is actually doing the intermittent fasting. I thought all this time I thought it was called intermediate fasting. So then when my guy friend was like, oh, I'm doing, the, I'm doing the intermittent fasting. I'm like, oh, cute. He has an accent. But really, I was like, oh, shit, never mind. I've just been saying it wrong. So basically for snacking, for the most part, I try to keep it veggie based. Um, I also have this Brunswick seafood snack. And what was sad was that I didn't vlog about it, but... Um, I tried to open the can and then the freaking, you know, I don't know what it's called, but the little tick thing that you pull or you know how a pop can you open it that with that little metal thing. So that thing broke off and then my manager was like, oh my God, Sophie, let me help you. Let me try to get pliers. So she runs to go get pliers, tries to open it and it breaks too. So I was like, oh my God, I'm never going to eat these sardines. But these are so good. Thank you, Alex, for introducing me to these. Oh my God, my mouth is watering, but I can't eat yet. Um, I like to eat the smoked one and I also got the hot sauce because I am a big fan of hot sauce. I'm also going to cut some salami because, you know, <laughs> that is my shit. And then Gouda cheese. And I just noticed that my avocado is actually getting pretty ripe. So I'm probably going to bring one to work as well. So I have a lot of snacks to munch on. Um, I'm doing a 2 to 10 today, which is insane. And then tomorrow, depending, um, I might do a 12 to 4 or a 7.30 to 2, which is, ugh, I really hope not. But whatever happens, happens. I'll probably update you guys afterwards. But let me prep my snack so then I can get to work. Get going to work, rather. Oh well, yeah, I filmed this because Kristen was asking me like some pointers on what kind of snacks to eat. So just keep it like cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, 
something like protein, you know, this cheese, um, not processed cheese. It has to be like one of those like Parmesan aged cheddar, whatever. Um, ah, that rhymed. And then this. So Timmy's has these new like egg sous vide thing. To be fair, I bought it like maybe four hours ago. Um, I just want to try it on video to see if it's good or not. And if it's comparable to the Starbucks one. This is the jalapeno and cheddar. Usually I would wait until I get home to eat, but I'm so fucking hungry that I just want to try it out. And I just want to see if it tastes better than Starbucks. Mmm! Really salty, but it's actually freaking good. I think it's like for $3.69. Mmm. Oh yeah, and have iced coffee. Look how beautiful that is. So me and Kristen, we're on our way to the night market, waterfront night market, and it's hilarious because on the other side is a Budweiser stage that is doing a concert. So we are going to check this place out and it looks bad packed. Yeah. So Kristen, what do we have first to eat? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. So we got longanisa and pansa. Pandasal. Pandasal. <laughs> and then we're in this beer thing because we thought the admission we had to pay for this. So it was an ha it was a happy accident. But we're gonna look check out some beers and see which one we should go for. Yeah, we we're good. You know, that's all. You just gotta treat yourself out. We got a whole dance floor to ourselves. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> mochi what the hell and we are waiting for our korean corn dog we just got our iced tea but they're kind of in jars so we don't want to open it right now and also we don't want to use the restroom so the night market was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie but it got pretty busy near the end so i couldn't really like record much stuff and I smelled like shit. So I didn't even get to drink the Thai tea that was there. But it was a bummer because me and my friend didn't get there till like 7. So they already sold out of the mango sticky rice. Which was the one that I was like looking forward to trying. But that's okay. So I got the Thai tea here. And I hope it doesn't taste bad because I did wait until like the whole ice melted because I didn't want to open a mason jar at the event you know what I mean especially if like it's already sealed and all that shit so let's try it out and I'll let you guys know how it tastes so it's legit in a mason jar and usually they come in like a small bag but I guess because they sold out on a lot of it but look how huge it is let's see and at least I get a free jar out of it but Maybe I need to clean this jar up so it doesn't rust at the top. Let's try it out. Ooh, it's actually pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to finish this up and then call it a night because I have to wait for my hair to dry anyway. So good night, guys. So let me just zoom in. Oh, so see, like totally fine now but there's this dry patch right there mm, don't mind the peach fuzz but yeah like it's t a little bit dry there but my whole lip is fine now which is really crazy um it lasted about two weeks but if you guys are going through that at least now you know like it was literally a heat rash but damn i never had that before oh and fun fact i have a beauty mark here <laughs>